Hello everybody and welcome to the Family Workout today with me, Stefan. I hope you're well and ready to follow me through this workout at home. Now, if you haven't seen the Family Workouts before today, they are fun, high energy workouts designed for anyone in the family to take part in. If there are any exercises that you think are a little bit too demanding or challenging, you can put in your own exercises in place. I'm gonna give some harder and some easier versions of what we're doing. Anytime you need to take a pause, you can do. We want you again to work out safely and effectively, but most of all, to enjoy this workout and work at your level. So the workout today is gonna to go like this. We've got four minutes for our warm up and four minutes for our cool down. Right in the middle is the workout itself. And today the workout is split into three rounds of work. Each round is then split into three one minute working intervals with a 30 second recovery between each minute. And each minute is gonna be split into two 30 second exercises. If you are ready to start the workout, I'm ready to start the workout. Let's get this underway. There is our warm up cue. So we're gonna bring the arms up and over. This is nice, big sweeping move. We call this a regular sweep with those arms. Just shifting my weight from foot to foot as I turn a little bit through my feet, through the hips and bring the arms up overhead. All these warm up movements starting off with nice big movements. Nothing too aggressive, nothing too fast paced. To begin with, we're just getting the body ready to warm up or ready to work out, I should say. That's it, nice big movements, building that heart rate up, getting the muscles, the joints all ready for the exercise ahead. From here, we're gonna switch it now. We're gonna bring our feet wide, and we're gonna bring one hand across, and one hand across behind the body. So, a nice big windmill type movement with the arms, and you can shift the weight from foot to foot. You're gonna feel a stretch in that straight leg, on that trailing leg and working and waking up the muscles in the legs and in the glutes. Bit of a twist through the body and those arms and shoulders, of course, working as well. Just a comfortable pace. From here, we're going to go hands on hips and we're going to go into hip circles. A nice big movement with the hips. About five of these on each side. That's it. Nice big turn of the hips. Again, ankles, knees, hips, and the spine also changing direction now getting a look in with this exercise. Again, preparing the body for the exercise ahead. It's a warm one today, so the body won't need too much warming up. We're gonna do the four minutes as we always do anyhow. Perfect. All right, from here, both hands down in front. We're gonna go up at the back as we twist through. Again, that same movement through ankles, knees, and hips. Again, make sure you've got the room to move if you haven't, you can bring the hands in a little bit closer, all right? But if you have got room, then bring those arms out wide, low at the front and high at the back. Perfect. From here, we're gonna take a step forward. Again, make sure you have room. Step and then reach with those hands. Nice and slow, doesn't need to be too far forward. Okay, to begin with, and you can increase that reach and increase that step each time you go. Challenging the legs, challenging the core as well, that balance, alternating sides, reaching just slightly across, left and right as you go. Perfect, all right, from here we're gonna go hands down, minute and a half left to go, onto the floor. From here, widen the stance, narrow, narrow the hand, and we're gonna go up and around with our T rotation. A nice big reaching movement, stretching the chest, and the shoulders, giving the core a little bit of work to do. That's it, you can do this from the knees if you need to. And then from here, same position, we're gonna step one foot forward, hold that position for a moment, and then step back, step forward, hold that position, and step back, getting that stretch through the hips. If you can, get that foot flat to the floor. And stepping back one more time, gonna walk those hands back, and then come up. Okay, here we're gonna get the pulse rate up a little bit. That means uh, getting our feet moving, getting our bodies moving on the spot, jogging on the spot, get those hands and shoulders moving. Okay, you can switch that up to a little bit of a jumping jack. Okay, so our first minute of work coming up now, we've got core twists and high knee punches. Okay, so our core twists, plant those feet to the floor, firm to the floor, hands together, and we're gonna twist across the body, really working that midsection. High knee punches, we're gonna go high with those knees, and then driving out those punches. Seven seconds, let's get a little open. As I say, it is a warm one today. Are you ready? In three, two, one, off we go. Twist. So, hips fixed in place, 
knees fixed in place, feet fixed in place, arms out at full length, and twisting across the body. As you change from side to side, change direction, that's when you're gonna feel the midsection working. We've got 10 seconds left. All right, high knee punches in three, two, one. Up on those toes. Now, push, to really push those arms out. Keep those arms level as they climb out. To full length, tight fist. I'm really working the shoulders, the midsection. Getting that fitness up as well with this one. Okay, a little less. 10 seconds, five now, four, three, two, one, Woo! and there we got 30 seconds, that is our first minute done, and we have now running man and chop, chop ninja, running man, we have one foot forward and one foot back, we're going to switch those feet, again, it could be small steps if you need to, or, or big steps if you're able to, chop, chop ninja, we're going to chop those arms down, getting that twist, of the body, we've got five seconds. Keep that water handy today. Little sips. Right now, though, we have got running man. Oh, there we go. Get those hands and feet in time. That opposite motion. One foot and the other hand forward, and then switching sides. Again, light on the toes, keeping that pace just as fast as you can. Again, any time you need to pause or stop, go right ahead and jump back in when you can. Three, two, plant those feet and chop. Chop those hands down. So twisting the body as well. I'm sideways along so you can see how I'm moving my body through this. Chop and lift of the hands. Working the triceps and the biceps and the shoulders. So the arms, the core, the shoulders. Weight into the heels, navel drawn in. Woo, minute two, is that all? <laughs> all right, we have press ups followed by heel kicks. So press ups from the knees if you need to, or from the toes if you can. Hands a little bit wider than shoulder width, and I like to have my hands turned out very slightly. From there, heel kicks. We're coming up with those heels towards the hands or towards the glutes. If you want those hands to be in motion, that is absolutely fine. Here we go. Press ups. If you're going from the knees, maybe you can go a bit faster with the pace. But if you're going from the toes, control is the name of the game. Push and breathe out at the same time. You've got 10 seconds left to go. Keep that core strong, shoulders and hips level and in line. All right, here we go. And it's heel kicks. Again, we're all light on those toes and driving those heels up one at a time. That's it. Keeping that pace. Last exercise of our first round, closing now in a few seconds. So let's work that pace. Last few, and there it is. Ooh, a little bit longer than 45, 30 seconds. We get 45 seconds this time, and we prep for the next round. So a little sip of water is a good idea at this point. Okay, we have <clears throat> figure of eight chops and reverse curl up to start. So, figure of eight, hunker down, plant those feet, grab the hands, and you're going to chop that figure of eight pattern in front of the body. Reverse curl ups. We're going to bring those feet up into the air to work the abdominal muscles. All right, here we go. Figure of eight, that chopping motion again, really working. The stomach muscles, arms out at full length, chopping that diagonal motion down and across. It's 30 seconds, we've got 15 left. Really pin those hips in place. 
and then making that chop just as forcefully as you can with those hands. Three, two, one, down to the floor. Going to pull the mat out for this one. Hands on the floor and reverse curl up. Knees close to the chest if you need to. If you can, bring those feet up and you're using the midsection muscles to do the lifting. Breathing out as you lift and squeeze at the top of each move. Well done. Minute two of round two coming up. And for this one, we've got jumping jacks and high plank step outs. The jumping jack, okay, we love a jumping jack. And these workouts, stepping out, we're gonna step and then back to the center. Step out and then back to the center. All right, keeping those arms straight and that core engaged. Jumping jacks in two, one, here we go. Again, we're looking to work as fast as we can. Light on those toes. Keep that breathing going. And you're driving, driving those arms up and down to work the shoulders. Keeping that pace just as fast as you can. All right, five seconds. And three, two, one. Straight arms, feet wide, step across and step back. Step across, step back, pause and drop to the knees at any point if you need to. You can do these from the knees as well. Just stepping out one step, catch up, one step, catch up and back to the center. And we have five seconds more to go. Working those shoulders and working that core as well. Whew, okay, one more minute to go. Wow, squat jumps and step back lunges. Squat jumps, we're gonna go from the toes down to the heels, pushing the floor away with the hands and then that step back lunge or reverse lunge, one side and then the other to work those legs a little bit more. Are you ready? Three, two, one, squat jumps. Here we go. Now, if you need to take the impact out of these, by all means do, if you can, add in that jump. I'm trying to soften that landing as much as I can. Soften that impact. Weight into my heels, sitting the hips back, body leans forwards. Five seconds more. And then, when we're ready to change it, reverse lunge, step back lunge, alternating that lift of the hand, so it's the opposite hand, opposite knee, in front, keeping my weight on that lead leg. Back leg is just about the balance and the control of my balance and my position. Five seconds more, pushing tall, driving up in that top position. Whew, all right, there we have it. That is round two done. One more round to go. Three more minutes of work. If you put, put everything you have into each of these minutes, then you are doing well. A little sip. Not too much. Okay. So next up, we're going with plank side hops and then side plank hip drops. So, plank hops, you can go on the toes from side to side. And then side plank, hip drops. We're gonna drop and then we're gonna turn to the other side and hip drop. So, hopping from side to side with those feet. That's it. Not a big distance left to right. Just enough to hop across that midline. We've got 10 seconds more to go. So core strong, arms strong, pause if you need, and back to it when you can. And now, from the knees if you want to, or from the feet if you can. And we're bridging up those hips. 
15 seconds on each side. We're going to change to the other side now. Again, elbow underneath the shoulders. So we've got a good strong position from which to work. Pushing up and gently dropping down until we hear that buzzer. And there it is, 30 seconds. And our next move is mountain climbers and plank with a leg lift. Mountain climbers, we're on our heart palms and we're gonna go with those knees coming forwards. From there, the plank leg lift on forearms, wrists and elbows is with that straight leg lifting up. Are you ready? Mountain climbers next. Weight into those palms and alternating that knee drive forward. Really feel the abdominals working as we go. It is tough when it's warm. Working through it. Again, pause when you need to. 10 seconds more. And last five, four, three, two, one. Forearms, wrists and elbows. And lift, lift. Straight leg, core pulled in tight, navel pulling up towards the spine to stay strong. Whew. Pause again if you need. Less than 10 seconds to go. Working until we hear that buzzer. And not a moment too soon, there it is. Whew. And we have one more work, round, a minute of work to do. Froggers and that T rotation. So froggers are gonna look like this. We have hands on the floor and hop forwards with those feet and then bring those hands up. T rotation as we did in our warm up. Round and round. Okay, are you ready? One more minute of work. Let's go. Froggers staying low, feet back, and then forward. Just as quickly as you're able to work. Okay, we've got 10 seconds left now, 10 seconds. Pause only if you need to, if you can. Working all the way through, okay, and from here, that T rotation, up and around, one arm holding you up, and those feet wide, working around with that big reach, big sweeping reach of the arm, shoulders and core, working all the way through that range of movement, up, and there we have it, wowee. If you've given everything you have for the entire workout, you have done extremely well. That was a tough one. Now, up onto your feet. Breathe. We're going to keep that body moving. If that means just shaking those arms and those legs out, that's fine. If that means walking around the room. We're just walking on the spot. We're going to stop from just holding our position and letting that heart rate drop. We're going to bring it down nice and slow. So our warm up, sorry, our cool down. We're going to bring those arms across. That rotation, a big body movement, nice and slow this time. Because now we're bringing the heart rate and the breathing back down nice and slowly, rather than building it up as with our warm up. But again, big movements to get all the joints in the body moving. All right, from here. Feet flat to the floor, one hand reaching up, one reaching down. We're going to switch sides nice and smooth, but keeping that constant switch from side to side. Really reaching that hand up and reaching that other hand down. That side bend of the body, getting that stretch all the way down the sides, the hip, the side of the body, the shoulders. A couple more on each side, reaching up, very, very good. 
We're going to go that wide stance once again. This time we're going to sit the hips back, lean the body towards that straight leg, and we're going to hold that position. And we're going to do a little bit of a pulse or a bouncing move, as you can see, to encourage a little bit more stretch up and over to the other side, holding it for a little bit rather than keeping that constant movement side to side. Feeling that stretch in the inner thigh, the hamstrings and the adductors up and over. So the backs and the inner, side, inner thighs of the legs. And up and over again, one more time. So two lots each side. Okay, and then from here, coming up nice and tall, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna step forward one foot, bend the back knee and reach the hand down. Come back up, switch to the other side of the step bend the back knee, reach those hands down. So I'm going to do a couple of those more on each side. This, of course, is going to get that hamstring, the back of the upper leg. Stepping now. Second side, second time. And we're going to go a third. So feet together, step one foot forward, bend that back knee, and reach down. Nice and tall, one more step, one more switch and reaching down towards the foot. Whew. Nice work. Okay, coming up nice and tall. We're going to walk out now, so make sure you've got room for this one. As we walk out with those hands, I'm going to step forward with one foot. Okay, if I'm stepping forward with my right foot, it's my right hand that's going to go up. I'm going to hold that position for just a moment before I reach underneath the body and across. Then we come back up to that reaching overhead position. I'm going to go underneath the body a second time as well. Feeling that stretch on the hip before I bring the hand back to the floor, switch the feet, and then again it's left foot forward, it's left hand up, stretching the upper body, the chest and the shoulders, and then underneath to get that stretch in the hip on that forward leg. Up a second time, reaching up. And then underneath the body, we go one more time. Getting that stretch in that hip. Hand back to the floor. We're going to bring the feet back. And we're going to walk those hands slowly back towards the toes. Hold those fingers to the toes for just a moment more. Again, that little bouncing movement to increase that stretch. Hamstrings, calves, the back. And slowly coming up into that standing position, shoulders rolling around to finish. Wowie, that was a hot one, that was a tough one. If you have stayed with this workout through to the end, give yourself that big high five. Fantastic work. If you've given it your all, again, another high five. Listen, I will see you guys very soon for another family workout. In the meantime,